Hey there YouTubers, so I'm gonna show you a few more layouts that I managed to finish in my summer scrapbook. I've been working on it for, yeah, well I was working this morning and last weekend and I think that this was uh, the last layout that I managed to show you. So after that I did this layout which I kind of liked. Yeah, I did like it a lot. Um, I hand wrote the word wild and I cut it out, fussy cut it out and I basically left it very simple because I just used one piece of pattern paper at the back to kind of map the photos and a few embellishments here and there but I like the effect that this has on the page and I used some thread as well which I put underneath the letters and this was um we went to a bird park in Malta and we were very surprised because the lady of the bird park we were about to leave and then she said you want me to take out the snakes for you and she took out the snakes and we really enjoyed seeing them as you can see Laura was so excited and she was touching them having no problem at all I did not touch them so much they made me very very nervous but anyway since I had to paste a lot of pictures I just left this really really simple I wanted to include this picture as well so at the end I fussy cut the picture out so I can include it. I know it looks a bit weird, but um, it doesn't matter because, you know, I have like one complete layout here and this is more of a project lifestyle, kind of. Then this morning I was working on this one and I liked how it turned out. I wanted to scrapbook um, a few pictures of my husband and it was looking great and then I think I messed it up with the stamping. I don't usually do a lot of stamping on my layouts and I wanted to give it a try. I'm not really happy how it turned out. I liked it more the way it was before but it's done. Then I started this layout last week and um, I finished it this morning. So last week I had, you know, pre-cut the circles and stuff them and I had a kind of idea of what it, what I wanted to do. I liked the background uh, paper a lot so I wanted the pink to show through and again I left it very simple and the stamping here I like a bit more how it turned out. And unfortunately I hand wrote something with mists on the other page and it seeped through but it doesn't matter, it doesn't really bother me so much. Then, this is what I was doing right now. Um, this is a layout about how blessed I feel to have Laura. I took her to a fun park and uh, I managed to take a few good pictures of her with my new camera, which I still have to make a video about because I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, again, kept it very simple. Used, I'm trying to use up a lot of these die cuts and embellishments, um, you know, because I want to kind of uh, finish off all the stuff that I bought to create this crap and this is what I have just done now and yeah look at that I didn't wait for it to to dry and now it's a little bit damaged well, it doesn't matter I might change this picture so I used Heidi Swap Gold Mist for the background and um, I fussy cut these letters out again and just a few embellishments and that's it red cups and sweaty bodies everywhere hands in the air like we don't care because we came to have so much fun now got somebody here might be the one now if you're not ready to go home can I get a hell no? Cause we're gonna go all night till we see the sunlight all right. So la da dee da dee, we like to party, dancing you and me, doing whatever we want. And this is our house, and this is our rules, and we can. Now I would really like to show you a few things that I bought from different places. It's like a mini hall. So. I finally got um, this through the post. It came from Hong Kong from a shop called Mei Li, Mei Li Papery. And it was the first time that I was uh, using Mei Li and I'm not very happy with how it turned out because I pre-ordered a whole bunch of stuff from the 
Wonder Collection. And then um, like weeks later, they sent an email saying that uh, they had a problem with American Crafts, that they did not receive uh, the stuff. And they sent me what I had ordered, which was not from the collection. And I think I paid uh, $8 of, or eight euros of delivery. Anyway, at the end of the day, it was like so not worth it. So I'm a bit disappointed with that. But anyway, I bought these Pink Fresh Puffy stickers. And they're really nice. I bought this special paper from the confetti collection of Maggie Holmes. And it's beautiful at the back as well. It looks like doily. And I got my hands finally on this, the wood veneer frame. And I also want to get my hands on the Wonder one on the house, but I don't know. I'm trying not to spend a lot of money, so I'm kind of waiting. I don't know. I'll probably not like it when I find that it's um, out of stock everywhere. So I did like the fact that it came in a bag and the bag says do more of what makes you happy. And it's a Ziploc bag. So I do hope that perhaps it was just because I was quite unlucky with this shop and uh, maybe you know I'll give it another shot and it's gonna be better then from another shop Spanish shop up and scrap um, I got the Heidi Swap Gold Mist finally which I used this morning I got the Wonder Chipboard I really like this collection and I had a hard time not buying uh, stuff from this collection so I'm getting some some of the stuff in my hip kits but not very much and um, yeah, unfortunately. So I decided to get the chipboard because I, I really liked it. And then I was just um, crazy over the tickers. And I finally managed to get my hands on a packet. I'm not sure if it's in here, it should be. And yeah, I finally got my hands on the Simple Stories I Am chipboard, which I have been looking for forever. And yeah. I got these beautiful, beautiful stickers, and I hope I get my hands on uh, a couple more packets because um, there are not a lot of letters of the same letter, so I do need a couple more packets to really use this. But I just love it. I think they are really beautiful. And then I also finally got these hoops and I plan to do a kind of long frame and just put it somewhere at home with pictures and I, I saw a few ideas on Pinterest and I really like what people have done with this. Then I got this one, that's the last thing that I have to show you I think. And it's a vellum paper with little triangles and it's also from the Wonder Collection. And that's it for today for me. I'll be back with more um, shots of the layouts that I was working on. Bye.